Hello everyone and welcome to Spiceworks Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to see how we can embed a customer satisfaction survey in the end user portal and how we can ask the end users to complete the survey once the ticket is closed. To follow this tutorial you'll preferably need Spiceworks 5 and above and you also need a free account at www.quicksurveys.com which will also be covered in this tutorial. Let's get started. So this is quicksurveys.com homepage and one of the things I really like about it, except for the fact that it's free of course, is the fact that you can have uh, unlimited surveys, unlimited questions in each survey and you can also have a skip logic option, meaning that you can redirect your participants to a specific page or have them skip a specific page according to their answers. And we will see a quick demo for that in this tutorial. So basically uh, what you need to do to get started with quick surveys is to sign up and you do it here on this button and you complete this form it's a pretty straightforward username, email, password etc and you click on the sign up button and you will get a verification email and you'll have to click on the verification link and once you do that your account will be created I've already created my free account so I will click on login will fill in my username and password and this is uh, basically our dashboard here we can see our existing uh, surveys and manage them, we can see the results and of course we can create a new one so let's go ahead and do that and click on the new button before we go ahead and jump right into uh, adding questions let's go ahead and see some of the features that quick surveys give us to customize the look and feel and the behavior of the survey itself we'll start by examining the settings options and as you can see uh, we can choose whether the survey is currently open or closed for responses we can choose the dates uh, from a specific date until date or simply to leave it open and we can even choose the time zone and we also have the options to choose how many times our participants can take the survey uh, we can choose whether we want to allow them to take the survey only once take it once and come back to edit the results or to take the survey many times now since that uh, this is a help desk survey and each end user may have more than one support ticket obviously we'll go with the third options of take survey many times we can also choose what happens when the end user completes the survey we can redirect it to URL or we can show him a message. Let's go for show a message option and write a thank you message, thank you for helping us get better. Our display options allows us to determine if we want to display a progress bar. Let's go for the percentage. We can choose the numbering options for questions and so on and so forth. We are not going to cover all of this in this tutorial. I will let you play with it for yourself if you choose to use um, quick surveys. Uh, but we have covered the uh, most important settings so far. So let's go ahead, save and exit back to the um, questionnaire itself. We can also change the styling, but we will do that after will add questions um, otherwise we won't have anything to see the preview with click on title we will add um, title to the page the survey and a description so let's go for um, IT survey right here help desk just as an example okay so now we are basically ready to add a question so let's click on the add button and go with something um, 
that makes very much sense. How would you rate our service? And as you can see, we have a pretty advanced editor here. We can pretty much do anything we want with it. Uh, we'll keep it simple in this tutorial and we'll simply stick to text as questions. We'll go to the options tab and here we can choose um, the behavior of the question. So the, for the purpose of this question, a single answer out of multiple choice is the right way to go. We have many options to choose from and we can even uh, choose answer from a predefined groups so for the purpose of service i think that excellent to poor is pretty good um, scale and we can even choose the way that our answers will appear on the survey we'll stick to buttons and let's say that we require answer for this question and we can click on preview and that's the way that the question will appear in our survey and this is pretty good so we'll click save and exit for the purpose of the skip logic example let's assume that if a customer or an end user rated our service anything less than good we want to be able to provide him with a text box to provide us a free feedback so we will add a page after this page we'll add a question uh, let's add a twist of humor um, oh boy we really messed up how can we get better If we'll go to the options tab, we'll simply change the uh, question type to a single text box. But one line with 40 characters may not be enough, so let's change it to a text box, 4x40. And this question will not be mandatory. So we can click on preview and that's the way it will look. And that's pretty good for, for the purpose of this tutorial, so we'll save and exit. And let's add another page after this page. And let's ask the customers to rate our response time. How would you rate our response time? Okay. And again we will go to the options tab and again a single answer is the right way to go and for response time I think that fast to slow is the right scale to choose and let's require answer on that one too click on preview it looks okay so we'll save and exit and let's add the option for our end users to specify the ticket ID. It will be optional, but they may want to do that. So um, you may specify your ticket ID. Options will choose a single text box. And since Spiceworks only uses numbers, for ticket IDs we can simply choose numbers only okay save and exit so now we have a survey with three pages and three pages are the requirement to allow skip logic otherwise there's nothing to skip so we'll go back to page number one we'll click on the skip button and we'll say that if the uh, end user chooses excellent or good he will be redirected directly to page number three if he chooses natural fair or poor he will be redirected to page number two where he can add his feedback let's click save and close and now let's click on the style button 
and here we have a complete theme editor we can choose from a predefined themes and customize the look and feel or we can set the colors for ourselves I personally like the ice blue one so I'll stick to that we can also uh, change the look and feel of the title, of the introduction, the logo, the questions, progress bar, pretty much everything. Back to the survey. So we can click on the preview button and we can see our survey in action. Now let's choose excellent as the answer for this question and click on, on next. And we are redirected directly to to the last page of this tutorial but if we choose fair and click next we are redirected to the second page where we can add our feedback and this is exactly what we aim for so we can close this page and we can click on the launch button and here we can choose if we want to create a link or send by email Let's go for create a link and choose the mini link option. We can select the code, right click on it and copy. So right now our survey is ready. If we open a new tab and paste the URL, we will see that it is live and we can access it and take the survey. And this concludes the first part of this tutorial. In the second part, we will see how we embed this survey in Spiceworks End User Portal and how we ask our users and users to take the survey once the ticket is closed.